Well, it's happening all over the United States. They're passing draconian gun laws, banning most types of firearms, like New York State. We're going to go to that in a moment. Obama is set tomorrow with props, children all around him, saying we've got to have 19 executive orders and actions to restrict guns and to pressure Congress to go even further. This is totally unconstitutional. It's treason. They're using those dead kids. Statistically, gun-related murders are going way down. I've shown you the FBI statistics from their own site. They want to hide that information from the public. They want to disarm us because they are a criminal mafia of insider trading scum. When they got caught insider trading last year, Democrats dominantly, they just said, oh, we passed a law to restrict it, which actually legalized it for them. That's the type of games they play. And so I have written a new articles of impeachment going over the admitted things that Obama has done that are impeachable offenses directly out of the U.S. Constitution, like saying he'll use executive orders against the Second Amendment, saying NATO and the U.N. give him orders and authorization for military action, not Congress. All of this is cut and dry, and the government and Homeland Security is lined up against the American people. They're arming to the teeth against us. We are an occupied nation by the globalist, just like Greece and just like Italy have had uh, the banksters put their people in charge. They have taken this country over. They want to loot us. And the criminal instinct of these guys may be their undoing because their criminal instinct is to disarm their quarry, to disarm their prey. And so they're pushing ahead with this even though it's waking people up because we have a history and a culture of the Second Amendment. Our country was founded when the Redcoats came to take the guns. You know, a minority of people said I shouldn't have gotten mad at Piers Morgan, a red coat over here saying he wants to take our guns. Those type of so-called conservatives would probably shoot uh, Paul Revere if they could get in a time machine and go back. If he rode down the street saying to arms to arms, the red coats are coming, want it by land, do it by sea, they'd step out and shoot him and then give their guns to the red coats. You don't have to follow unconstitutional laws. This is tyranny. And the guns are the canary in the coal mine. Thomas Jefferson said that. He said, you won't need the guns till they come for them. You won't need the Second Amendment till they try to take it. That's the exact quote. It's everything that comes along with this. It's the looting of Social Security. It's the $47 trillion in banker bailouts. It's the our government funding Al-Qaeda and, and radical Muslims putting them in power all over the world. The Benghazi lies. It goes on and on. Here's some of the articles right here. This is up at Infowars.com. It is so important for everybody to go get this. Citizens file articles of impeachment against Obama. I did this pretty quick today with Paul Watson. I'm going to add some of the Constitution and U.S. Code uh, to this and some of the research Aaron Dykes was doing. We're going to add that at the bottom right now by the time this is posted. Uh, you'll see those footnotes uh, there in this collaborative effort of myself, uh, Aaron Dykes, and Paul Watson. But these are my words here, and I am publicly declaring the truth. I am publicly announcing that I am filing this in the court of public opinion. And I've got state reps and Congress people listed here who are saying they're going to start the impeachment. And how it works is it goes to the House. You get hearings going if, if, if people aren't cowards in the House. And clearly it's impeachable offenses on the face of it. I mean, that's open and shut. No debate. It's like catching the bank robber walking out of the bank with bags of money in their hands and, you know, on video. I mean, this is this is on dozens of counts, more than 20 total. I just put about 10 in here. And we have got to do this. And just having the hearings on Fast and Furious in Benghazi uh, that Hillary's been sick for weeks and can't go to. Yeah, right. Uh, just having it on the Second Amendment and the fact where they took the guns in Chicago, in New York, the crime rates went up, will absolutely blow up in their face. So, And listen, I'm risking my life, my name, my treasure. I'm out front on this. Because I know there's no future if we don't beat these people. These are real live despots that want to totally deindustrialize and shut this country down. I've read all their Agenda 21 documents. It's so diabolical. If the general trusting public just knew. I had the Obama phone lady, you know, the famous lady here yesterday, and she'd never seen the clips from four years ago where he's like, I'll never try to take any of your guns. I'll never raise taxes on anybody's payroll. And then she saw the lies and went, well, I don't like him. He's a liar. They know mainline poor people watching establishment TV don't know this. They have an attention span of five minutes. I don't. I've studied history. Folks, I am shaken to my core by this, okay? 
And I've decided to stay here and try to beat these people. We've got a shot at it. But you've got to get upset. And people are getting upset. Obama's so arrogant, folks. I, I, I can tell you, I see false flags. They wouldn't be this arrogant. They were planning something big. Something big to blame on us, our, our new school shooting. And yeah, like Larry Pratt said about the Aurora shooting, if they'd stage Fast and Furious and kill thousands, they'd stage that, and it's got all the earmarks. Look at these other articles. But again, go to Infowars.com, get this, get it out to everybody. Citizens, uh, file articles of impeachment against Obama. Absolutely essential intel. And listen, add your own you know points constitutionally. If you go to DrudgeReport.com, it's a clearinghouse for all of this. Look at this. Como quickly signs into law to avoid run. He was the guy yelling and screaming, saying, let's ban these guns. He's supposed to get excited. I'm just not supposed to. See, getting excited is effective. That's why they tell you never to do it. And then right over here, the most strict in the nation for a state, totally unconstitutional, banning semi-autos, making you register everything you've got with the government, you know, the taxes on ammo, registration for ammo, on and on and on and on. I mean, this is unbelievable. And Bloomberg is in here challenging Obama to, quote, defy Congress. That's another uh, article uh, that's been posted here on the site. Now, continuing... Uh, here with the rest of this news at DrudgeReport.com. There is the attorney general that ran Fast and Furious. Look, Reddit founder's father, Aaron, was killed by the government. Continuing uh, with this incredible police state that's unfolding. Uh, Rand Paul saying we're getting a monarch in Obama. Yeah, this is all dictatorial, and we break all that down. Here's articles about two robbers shot dead by armed uh, victims. Just absolutely essential. But the issue here is they are coming for everything with executive orders. Up here at the top, uh, Texans threaten to arrest any feds who try enforcing new gun laws. I got that state rep on the show tomorrow. White House readies 19 executive orders. Obama to surround himself with children to announce the new controls. It goes on and on and on. Ladies and gentlemen, now is the time for all good men and women to come to the end of their country. Now is the time for banner hangs. Now is the time to go visit your state house. Now is the time for states to engage. They allow illegal aliens to operate in 800 plus cities and 30 plus states outside of federal law. The local police won't enforce laws on them and that's illegal and unconstitutional. It's constitutional for our police to be ordered by the state and the legislature not to enforce federal law when it's unconstitutional. That's why we have states as a check and a balance. So please get this video out to everybody. Please go to Infowars.com and get this out because we can beat these people, but only by getting in their face that they're a mafia and a bunch of opportunistic scum standing on the graves of those children. They are sick Chicago mafia thugs and New York thugs. That's who they are. They want you disarmed because they're going to raise taxes. They're already calling for more tax increases on top of the ones they just got. And that'll never be enough until they bankrupt us. This is what they've done in country after country. This is the new world order we're talking about. America has been captured. Wake up to it and kick the usurpers out. Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com.